Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating a vehicle turning signal circuit using a 555 IC timer. This particular circuit would be virtually simulated on a breadboard with a 555 timer IC and this particular circuit would be simulated on Tinkercad platform. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel below. So sign up to this Autodesk Tinkercad platform using your Gmail account. Now go to circuits and click on create new circuit. Now in this particular section, you can see the list of components which are available. So we have to select the breadboard and place this particular breadboard on the schematic window. Now the objective of the circuit is to indicate the left and right turn. So the main component in this particular circuit is the 555 IC timer where this acts as an a stable multi vibrator. So it generates the pulse signal with variable width. So using this variable width of pulse, we set the different time delays for the LEDs. And this consists of two important resistors, which is 100 kilo ohm and 470 kilo ohm. And this is connected to the Wi-Fi timer. The diode is connected in the reverse bias at the output in order to maintain the constant current. Now let us continue our circuit design on Tinkercad with the virtual simulation. So place the 555 IC timer as shown in this particular circuit simulation. Now we require a resistor. So place the resistor as shown in this particular tutorial. In order to rotate the resistor, use the R button on the keyboard. Now place the resistor as shown in this particular tutorial and the value of resistor will be 100 kilo ohm. Next, we have to place the second resistor and this particular resistor you need to rotate and place the resistor accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we have to change the value resistor. So just click on that particular resistor and define the value as 470 kilo ohm. Now we must place the capacitor. So click on capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the breadboard. Now this particular capacitor is charged by the res two resistor which we had placed. Now the value of capacitance will be one microfarad. Now in order to power this particular circuit, we require a battery source. So place a 9 volt battery source as shown in this particular tutorial. Next, we have to connect this positive terminal and the negative terminal of the battery source to the negative rail and the positive rail of the breadboard as shown in this particular tutorial. Now connect the positive end of a rail 
to the terminal 1 of the resistor and the positive rail of the battery or from the breadboard to the pin number 8 of 555 timer connect the negative terminal of the breadboard rail to other negative terminal of the breadboard rail and from the positive terminal to the positive end of the breadboard rail. Now connect the reset pin to the positive terminal of the breadboard rail. From the terminal 2 of resistor connect to the terminal 1 of second resistor Now the terminal 2 of the resistor is connected to pin number 6 as well as pin number 2 of the 555 timer and from this particular connection connect to the terminal 2 of the capacitor and the other end of a capacitor is connected to the negative terminal or the negative end of the battery. Next from the terminal 2 of triple 5 timer must be connected to the terminal 2 of the resistor as discussed earlier. Now, we require a 330 ohm resistor. So, this particular resistor would be connected across the output of triple five timer and then to the LED in order to protect the LED from the flow of excess current. So, place this particular 330 ohm resistor as shown in this particular tutorial. Now select the LED and place two LED on the simulation platform. Now the diode is connected in the reverse bias at the output in order to maintain the constant current. So place this two diode as shown in this particular tutorial. Now the terminal one of the triple five timer is connected to the anode of the diode and similarly the terminal one of the triple five timer is connected to the other end of the anode of this particular diode. Now the cathode terminal is connected to the one end of the LED. So you can make this particular connection which is connected to the cathode of the LED and the cathode of the other diode is connected to the cathode of the second LED. Now the anode of the first LED is connected to the anode of the second LED and this particular anodes are connected to the terminal 1 of resistor and the output of triple five 
timer is connected to the terminal 2 of the resistor which is 330 ohm now we require a slide switch so select this particular slide switch so this has this particular switch can be used for the left and the right indication purpose so connect the common pin to the ground and the terminal 1 of this particular slide switch is connected to the cathode of the LED and the terminal 2 is connected to the other end of a cathode of this particular LED. Now, I think uh, we, we connect to the negative end, so we have to connect to the positive end. Uh, now, click on the start button and the simulation is running. Now you can see when we slide the switch, the indicator, the left and the right indicator blinks accordingly. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel for more such videos.